it's really tricky or hard to control Uncle Tony because he pretty much does what he wants. For example, they did a show in Italy for Fantastico. That's the biggest TV show in Italy. I H from Paris call us and we had a big meeting and uh, we signed a contract with big, big money. It was $50,000 for the show. So we signed it and then we go to Rome. One of the producers was like, no animals. And um, of course, Uncle Tony being Uncle Tony said, no, we're having animals, they're a part of the family. So we said, why they give us a contract? We are the Fercos, we are the best animal magician in the world. And the next day, the agent called us and said, the star of the show, which was called Adriano Celentano, decided he does one animal in the show. Una festa sui prati. Ma che bella giornata. Siamo tutti buoni. Adriana Celentano was the Elvis Presley of Italy. So we discussed with my brother, my brother said, who cares, they're paying us the big money, let's do nothing, so what, you know? I said, no, no, I'm gonna bring animals backstage. Virginia? I think about 10 times, actually. <laughs> well, she's got to do it. Oh, well, that's right, yeah. I'm not, I'm not doing it, I'm, I'm not, nothing to do with it. Okay, so is my idea. Mm. So what do you want to go through with it. <laughs> Otherwise she lose face, won't she? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be a bad idea because you're not supposed to bring the animal and you're dead. We may not pay you. That was my voice because we have a good money there. I didn't want to lose it. But Tony, we want to make a point to Adriano Celentano. There's no tape, everything's alive, you know? So now I have to think how to bring an animal on the stage. My plan was bring a crate and put a black leopard in it, which was the smallest animal we had. <laughs> we were watching the show on the TV screen and the guy always knocked on the door and said, 20 minutes to go, 50 minutes to go, you know. The wives are in the dressing room all nervously because they think Tony the crazy one, what are you going to do? So we're carrying the box with the leopard, of course security stop you and say, hey, what is in the box? He said, magic is secret, nobody must know how we're loading uh, my wife in it. And we go on the stage, and actually the first illusion is the leopard. <laughs> like, wow. Adriano Celentano was pissed. They've been told no, but they appear a leopard and there are a thousand people around. How come they didn't see a wild animal backstage? As soon as the panther came out, he went, oh no! Wait, wait. Victoria, you should see his face. I saw his face afterwards. Where's the security? There were like 100, 200 people, just security around the theater. How they did it? How they did it? When we finished, the agent came, screaming, he said, I got just fired because of you. <laughs> we not get, get paid. I said, we are the fair cause with the animals. I mean, that's why you give us contract, you know? Next day was in a newspaper. This magician did real magic on the television. Adrian Chantano told us specifically no, and they still do it. It was my ego. I wanted to show because we are the fair cause. We cannot go on the television without animals. We have to have animals. <laughs>